Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy, Leaky Femi, coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. I look, 7 p.m. Central Time, daily uploads. You know, if you're not here on time, I'm going to teach you a lesson. You know the rules, so you better be here on time, bro. You better be here on time, especially for them double and triple uploads. You better be here. If not, you feel me? But I appreciate the support nonetheless. Guys, this video is called Mr. Beast 7 Wait, seven days stranded, stranded in the cave? Yeah. Why does this nigga do this shit, bro? Why? I don't know. I don't know. I guess he just got a passion for just doing wild shit, bro. But shout out to my guy, Devin Carter. You know, he sent me this video. He be sending me the bangers, bro. Shout out to Devin Carter, bro. You feel me? But look. I'm doing too much black. I got my Burger King head, as you can see. Let's get the video cooking, man. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers deep into the earth. And whether we like it or not, as soon as my friends and I touch the ground, we are officially stranded here for the next seven days. That might have been the scariest thing I've ever done. First things first, we gotta get really far away from where we repelled down. Why? If it storms, this entire area includes flash flood. Fill up like Mr. Beast, why, nigga, why? Bro, I gotta give it to Mr. Beast, bro. I don't know how niggas can hate on this guy, bro. Entertainment, and he's helping people, and he's rich. W all around. Only L was the fucking weirdo. The guy that decided to become a female and, and talk talk to kids and all that. That's the only L. But they should have knew bro was a weirdo anyway, because why are you just going to switch on? But you had the midlife crisis? Bro, you're not, come on, bro. Just switch, you just switched on your wife and kids to become a female and put your life basically on easy mode. Come on, dog. They should have knew he was a weirdo after he did that shit. But, bro, do you put your life in danger for our entertainment? W mass. W mass. ocean and potentially drown us all. Which is why we're going deep into the cave to set up base camp. Bro, this is just wicked. Dude, this is like a different world. This cave entrance may be beautiful, but looks can be deceiving. We didn't know it yet, but the next seven days will by far be the hardest of our entire lives. It's gonna get dark in a couple hours. If we don't have a camp, we're screwed, okay? Do you have any idea where you're going? We're just looking for flat ground to set up camp. Upon entering the mouth of the cave, we stumbled upon an area with high enough elevation to protect us from any flash flooding, meaning that it was perfect for camp. Perfect is a crazy word. Good enough is what I would use. Good enough for camp. We spent the rest of day one grabbing our supplies that we were dropped with. Each one of these bags weighs like 80 pounds. And as you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. All right. We've got some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camera over there, you'll see it's pitch black. It took all day. And so we set up the bare minimum for camping grounds. We drilled holes to hang up some ropes. Grab these, pull yourself up. Looks like the ropes will be able to support hammocks. And with the help of our survival guide, Joel, we hung our hammocks. This thing. Okay, they got a survival guide. Okay. Hammock. Yeah. Ate some dinner and prepared for a very cold night one. Not gonna lie, this hammock is uh, way more comfortable than I thought it would be. Hey. Oh God. Nigga, what the? Why is my head so big, bro? <laughs> this part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're basically camping at the entrance. Tomorrow, we have a lot of exploring. Wait, what type of animals How'd you guys live sleep? down there? Horribly. And I didn't. It's a very perplexing environment. The cave's constantly dripping water on us from above, so we put a tarp over us. But even still, the water's dripping into our hammocks. I have an idea. Let's make our shelter actually good. I say we connect these tarps so we stay dry while we're sleeping. Here. That's literally genius. I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? My hammock gets out right here. <laughs> Are we serious right now? This is where I just got out of bed. And we didn't realize it at the time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. So while Sean and I got started on the super tarp, Mac and Carl went to see how dangerous this hole was for themselves. Do you see my hammock up there? That is where I slept. Now look at this. And because everything looks the same, and it's probably pretty hard to follow us in this cave, on this map, you can see our home base and how far they're moving away from it. All right, Mac, no, hell no. Oh, bro, this is crazy. Well, the boys are randomly exploring. Me and Sean actually have to work on the camp. Why is there a sleeping bag over here? Uh, because it smelled like pee. Ew. Lesson number one, don't rent your sleeping bags. Why did we rent sleeping I, bags? I, Why did we not just buy sleeping bags? We're zip-tying the tarps together to create one mega tarp. Don't mind me, just 
<sighs> trusting this rope with my life. And meanwhile, Mac and Carl were still in a hole. Oh my god. Mac. No, you could bro, how much did you can? Eventually, made, they finally made it to the bottom. Hey! We're supposed to be working at camp. We just wanted to show how dangerous camp was. Just don't fall. It's a skill issue. Oh, okay. And even though they should have been on their way back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Bro, this just looks so crazy. You think you could make it through the river? Do these two know this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which means we'll be spending some time in it. Bro, this nigga oh, Mr. Beast has lost his damn marbles, bro. Find his marbles immediately. Immediately. Seven days stranded in the cave. And now this nigga wanna go river rafting in the cave. Why? For our entertainment, bro. There's no way. What's the Talk about, uh, I was about to say, what's the objective? Nigga talking about returning to base camp. Bro, what's the point? Why do this? Just for our entertainment. No way. No way. I wonder how you much you can this home to do it, bro, because there's no That's way. Right. <laughs> a new home, am I right? Let's go. We now have a roof. Look, Look at this. I'm not going to lie, you're actually kind of crushed. And we moved the fire pit to this little cove we found. What do you think? It's warmer. It's cozy. These rocks trap the heat here and block the pee from the rocks above. It's not pee. What, what, what do I call it? I don't know, maybe rain or something? It's, but it's not rain, oh, it's rock. Maybe. Wait, point it up. Do you see clouds? No, you see rocks. It's not rain. Rock pee. Rock pee. Mm. Rock pee, fine. All right, it's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel, our survival expert, help us get all the way to the end of the cave. Cave! 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 Yeah! Let's see how deep in the cave we can make it. Now, keep in mind that we are still just at the beginning of this massive cave. And our goal is to make it all the way through it without dying, of course. Oh my gosh, this is kind of <laughs> Bro, see this? Right? <laughs> bro, this nigga Mr. Beast, he just throws in that shit and like just chuckles, bro. Let's hope we don't die. <laughs> my, my nigga, why are you doing this? I'm talking about make it to the end of the cave, bro. I know it's, it's for safety precautions, you know, but come on, man. For seven days, buddy? You ain't seen nothing yet. We're going deep in the cave. All right, boys, suck in your guts. It's where things get tight. I don't actually think I'm gonna fit. The interesting part about cave exploration is one second, you're barely fitting through cracks in the rocks. Oh my God, this is so tight. And then the next, you're in a massive chamber, so big that in order to see it all, we had to do this. Woo! Oh my God. I can actually see now. This is awesome. This thing is bright. Woo! So oh, there's yeah, no I'm animals down this. there? Like what creatures are in cave? So bright, I can't even look like at bats, them. right? Oh, like... oh no! Oh no! In hindsight, we probably didn't use that the most effectively. Lead the way. And so we continued on. Feel free, there's a really good handle at the top right there. Here. And then you can sort of swing a foot around onto this one. Like this? Yeah, yep, yeah, perfect. Joel, the best caving guide ever. <laughs> no one's died yet. Alright guys, this is where things get interesting. What? What is this? So from this point on, wetsuits, we're going for a swim. Yesterday, Mac and Carl were joking about doing this, but the rest of this cave adventure takes place in a freezing river. Oh my god, this is insane! Meaning wetsuits are the only way Why to that not die. Die. Why are we doing this? This is a once in a lifetime experience. Hey, shout out to y'all. Hey, look, that's no diss. You feel me? That's no diss. Because y'all, y'all, y'all be doing some wild shit, bro. Some shit that me and my peoples don't usually be doing, bro. You feel me? That's a phrase. It's called that white people shit. And that's what y'all be doing, bro. This is fire. I would never do this. Y'all doing y'all doing skydiving and shit, and and, and y'all be just be doing all the extreme shit. I don't know why y'all do it, bro. I don't know why y'all do it, but I guess somebody got to do it, and it's gonna be y'all. Cause bro, going through this cave and doing all this extra shit, bro. Why? Why do it? And then you have a professional. Why does he do it? Why? Why, bro? Do it. So in order to get to the end of the cave, we have to hop in this river and fight the rapids through this tiny hole in the rock and carefully squeeze our way through it. Take your time. It will take your feet behind you a little bit. All right, I'm getting in the river. You want to follow, follow the wall around. It's so it. cold. You got it, Jimmy. Ah, I don't know if I fit. Jimmy, I need you to pull yourself up out of the water. Oh my What's crazy about doing this ah, it's so cold. is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Uh, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Matt, Carl, let's go. <laughs> nah, I'll be terrified, bro. Keep going. Look how crazy this is. Dude. And even though this obstacle was
was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. What's up ahead? Hey, boy, we're now 10% done. Which means we've only scratched the surface of this expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining to reach the end. As you can see, it rains in this cave 24-7, so I'm making a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would look like if I wasn't here to build all this. Pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. Is he a survival expert too? so difficult uh, the worst part is every inch we go this way is an inch we got to go that way to get back to camp bro that's what i was thinking bro so these niggas got to go all the way there and all the way back bro just for our, inter our entertainment guys y'all gotta leave a like bro y'all gotta y'all gotta make bro. it any easier to get through that means it's probably on us. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's on you, it's on you. I hate my friends. <laughs> this cave is like a Mr. Beast video. The further you go, the harder it gets. Just straight up, if we didn't have Joel, I'd be dead. And after three he loved hours, Joel, jokes about that's dying, bro. Why you be doing that? It's too high, and we're taking too long. We're going to have to turn around for today and head back to camp. I disagree. You can't disagree with the safety expert. I disagree. Well, we can't really disagree. It turns out we wasted way too much time filming and playing with flares to the point where we now had to restart and attempt this mission another day. Of course. Of course. What did you do while we were gone? Hopefully nobody gets wet now. Bro, I didn't even know we packed lights. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Sadly, we only made it 20% through the cave today. But mark my words, we will go the distance in a future day. Look at bro on the left, mad as That's shit. Not gonna happen. We might rest on day four, and then on day five, try to go all the way to the end of the cave and see what's there. Day three was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, so how actually long and is after the cave, though? Like, how long did it take? Cave, the next morning, we only had one thing like, in mind. Like, it was a straight shot. A hot shower would literally save my life right now. Oh, showering would be awesome. I haven't showered in three, four days. Yeah, you niggas probably imagine. smell like Showing onions, bro. Showering inside a cave isn't easy. We had to hike all the way back to where we were repelled in to safely reach the riverbed. Oh, 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 my God! I feel my brain. I've never felt my brain like this. My forehead is frostbite. Let's use the drone to dry our heads off. Come here, drone. Hello, brother. Stop, stop. It's actually working. Yeah, it is working. Who needs a hair dryer when you have a drone? And after we dried off, we sat down with Joel to plan our journey. What is this, Joel? This is the map of the cave. Last time, we had to stop because of the fast moving water. But the rains have been slowing, so we might just get a window to reach the end by tomorrow. Dude, this is about to be wild. First, we'll need to pass some of those same rapids from yesterday, dive off mess of cliffs and avoid jagged rocks and if we can make it past all that we will finally make it to the beautiful glowworm chamber Don't wait glowing chamber i want us to be surprised do you think we're gonna make it no Ooh. fucking way nah let's not play that game we're all gonna make it <laughs> with tomorrow's plan thoroughly mapped out we rested up and made feastable s'mores to regain our energy everyone cheers w marketing bro hey, he's gonna make sure feastable is in the video right, by any means Joel approves? Joel approves. Why didn't we whip this chocolate out earlier? This just got like 10 times more fun. <laughs> Guys, for real, if you've never tried s'mores with Feastables, you're really missing out. Tomorrow, we're going to explore the entire cave. We'll see you guys then. So we tried to sleep as much as we could and prepare for tomorrow's journey to the end of the cave. We're about to embark on one of the most dangerous journeys of my life. Because of our experience from day three and focusing less on filming, we were able to make progress way faster. Woo! This water's cold. Just like the other day, bro. Right, and to ensure our best chance of survival, in addition to Joel, we brought another survival expert with us. This is where we had to stop on day three. How are we doing? We're making much better time. Behind us, it's pitch black. Where do we go? This area gets narrow. Uh -huh. The current's strong. So we're going to use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Yep, through we go. I got it. Oh, God. Yeah, jump for that first rock. There's a couple of good rocks around the corner as well you can get a hand on to. <laughs> it's so dark down here. There's no bottom right now. My feet aren't touching the ground. Right Fuck no. Now. Because we couldn't reach the ground, this meant that if we let go now, we could get swept away by the strong current directly beneath us. Joel, what are we doing? I would go into here if you can. That's okay. a good one. I can't even see where I'm going. <laughs> Bro, feet not touching the ground. No way. You got it. You got it. Get yourself in there. Nah, no. Hell no. 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 Hell no. In the water cold too. 
cave than we've ever been. And we're now approaching our first serious obstacle. So basically, the water's recirculating. So if you fall in, it takes you to the bottom and it keeps you there. If we fall, we would die. Yeah. Okay, so death is on the table. This is just Bro, and this honestly. nigga, bro, this nigga Mr. B, bro. Bro, I swear, bro. So, bro, just living carefree. This nigga just living carefree, bro. Because, bro, this nigga just told you some crazy information. If you get sucked under the water, you're stuck down there. Next clip. Next frame. This nigga smile on ear to ear, bro. Ear to ear. Look at him. Ear to ear, bro. Calculating. So if you fall in, it takes you to the bottom and it keeps you there. If we fall, we would die. Yeah. Okay, so death is on the table. This is just... Smile on ear to ear. signing up for I'm barely as strong as a human. Well, fortunately for nah. us, rather than Carl leading this expedition, we've got the literal Avenger, Joel. And just to prove how much of an expert he is, this man literally flexed on us by jumping off a cliff. <laughs> oh my god. You're crazy! Who else is a bit crazy? Surely one of you guys are keen? I'm crazy! No shot you want to do that. What are you talking about? I'm doing it right now, baby. No Let's fucking go. way. After everything Jimmy's put me through. This ain't that scary for me. Three, two, one. Man, hell no. No, y'all different, bro. Y'all different. You couldn't pay me, bro. We gotta keep going or we won't hit the end. Oh my god. Do I go downstream? Why are we always fighting the current? I might just start drifting away. I might just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh my god. It's getting deep again. I can't, you niggas done lost it, bro. Mr. Beast, bro. Y'all, bro, you, bro, listen, listen, listen. My white peoples, bro. Y'all, y'all never, bro, y'all continue to amaze me. Why do y'all be doing shit like this, bro? Please let me know, bro. Please let me know. For the love of the game? Is that what it is? Because, bro, this is strictly y'all's activities right here, bro. Why do y'all do this? This shit is mind-blowing. Yes, I love the entertainment. This is fire. But, bro... I'm not doing this shit, bro. These niggas just jumped off a cliff. You're in the you're in the cave for seven days. You can easily die. Just like the same with you parkour niggas, bro. Y'all niggas be jumping and doing flips, it, bro. <laughs> bro. Off of a challenge. It seems like with every step we took. Oh, bro! I can't see anything. This is terrifying. The cave became darker. And ruthless enough that we began to question if we could even get to the finish line. People had to be half done, done it before, though. This game is about to get a lot harder, and I have something I need to show all of you. Joel, can I see your bag? Thank you. You know what you've been carrying? What have I been carrying? The brand new... Mr. B Slab Swarm. I'll be honest, guys. As you can see, because of what I've been going through for the past five hours, I'm clearly in no shape to tell you about this right now. And so, a month after we filmed this, I built an entire cave set, threw on my future Jimmy name tag, and then said, Hey, future Jimmy here, and I'm going to tell you about my brand new toy line of Mr. B Slab Swarms. It's a okay. collectible toy line with over 119 uniquely designed characters that you can collect. And the coolest part this is to find no out game, which character bro. you got, you pour water into this tube, shake it up, and the Swarms will appear in front of your very eyes. And to demonstrate the product, I made this giant life-size version of the Swarms tube. Fill the tube with water. You won't need this much water. This is just a, a giant tube. All right. And now that this is filled with water, Mac's going to give it a little shakeage. Oh. <laughs> is it shaking up enough? I think it's shaking up enough. Then you pour out the water. Do the honors, Joel. And out of the water will be revealed which two swarms you got. This is the rarest one, the hyperchrome, that I only made a thousand of. Joel, you can have it. Woo! You can have that one. What does Carl get? I only have two. And we didn't just stop with the swarms, we also made these action figure panthers that are in these briefcases. And this mutator that, just like the swarms, has a really cool reveal when you buy it. Where do I buy them? I'm glad you asked. Mr. Beast Lab toys are now available everywhere in the world you buy toys. They're all out now. Go give them a try. And after more brutal this trekking like throughout bro. the cave, we finally arrived at the Glowworm Chamber. Wait, let Man, me see. Let me this see. This better be worth it. Alrighty, team. Welcome to the Glowworm Chamber. Let me Whoa. see. 
Holy crap. That is crazy. What Dude, the this does not look like it's Earth. All of the lights you see here are actually created by tiny bioluminescent glowworms. That kind of looks like the Milky Way galaxy. Wow. At this moment, this view, honestly, bro, what will happen if you ate one of those, bro? Well, making it to the like glowworms was definitely worth the trip. Our journey was still not over because we had to go all the way back to base camp. It's almost day six. They're not back, and I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep though. Just worried with them being gone so long. The trip Why is he just standing? Because there. we're just floating with the current. Now, because you guys have already seen the trip, we're going to expedite the way back. But seriously, this whole journey took so long. We crossed into day six before reaching camp. John, John. What's up, guys? I was starting to get worried. Happy day six. Day six. Let's go. All we had energy to do was thaw out by the fire and finally eat some food. That was a very adventurous day. I'll see you guys tomorrow or later today it is day six yeah maybe today i don't know despite being physically obliterated from our excruciatingly long hike no matter what i did i was really struggling to fall asleep Don't do no weird shit. Don't not weird, but don't do no extra shit, bro. Just lay down. Bro. I spent seven days in solitary confinement, seven days buried alive, seven days on a raft. And I'm gonna be honest, I think this is harder than all of those. You're constantly soggy and cold. I just keep hitting my body on these hard rocks and right. it hurts. Ninety percent of the time this cave is miserable. But between me and you. Jimmy! Yo! Carl! Can you see me? Ah! It's the world's brightest flashlight. There are moments of fun in this cave. From conquering rapids 300 feet underground. For me and the boys laughing in our hammocks. <laughs> all the misery is worth it. Because when you're in good company, let's make whale noises. This wet, cold, rocky, miserable cave can easily transform into the most beautiful trip of our lives. Yeah. We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Let's get out of here. And after our journey back to the mouth of the cave. Oh, it looks so good up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. And before we head out, Joel, as a show of gratitude, Money? we got you 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So it's 10 grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh gosh, thanks so much, Joel. We love you, Joel. And now that we got that out the way, let's leave. Woo! After seven long days, we're finally leaving. That's kind of crazy by itself, bro. What is it, zip lining? Man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, bro. Shout out to my guy Devin for sending this video through. You know, Mr. Beast videos are always a banger, so y'all let me know if y'all want, want to watch those. You feel me? But make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye. Uh,